Welcome everyone to BEA's Tech Time Live. I'm Jacob and we also have Steve from the BEA Tech Services Department. Today, we are gonna be showing you BR3X function 36, which is a three relay one shot function of the BR3. So first of all, we have to go over the programming. At the right side, you see increment and function. You wanna hold in both buttons for about five seconds and let go. You'll see FF00. Hit the left button, increment, until you see function 36. Just let it go FF36, fade back into 36. All right. Once you program function 36, nothing's going to happen immediately until you program hold times. Hit the right button, you'll see H1, H2. H3, D1, and D2. The H's are your hold times for relays one through three. The D's are delays between relays one and two, and then one and three. So let's start at H1. Let's set it for a hold time of, let's say three seconds. H2, we're gonna set it for two seconds. H3, we'll set that for two seconds. So relay one has a hold time of three. Relays two and three have a hold time of two. Function D1, let's set that to about one second, which is zero one. D2, we'll set that to about two seconds. So what's gonna happen is the moment you activate this BR3X, relay one's gonna fire. One second later, relay two's gonna fire. Two seconds later, relay three is gonna fire. So let's go ahead and try. So I have a little jumper here. Let's put it inside the terminal. So you saw relay one, relay two, relay three. Let's do it again. R equals means relay two. R equals with another dash under it means relay three. So I have a jumper on input two. Steve is going to mention the wiring and the applications after this, but what that's going to do is for the relay that it corresponds with, if I have an input that holds, it holds that relay. So you can see the orange LED is on over there and it says R2. It's because I'm maintaining an input into the BR3X. Let go, and it goes away. So now Steve's going to go over some of the wiring and the application of why would you use function 36. Hi, everyone. Give me a second here. Everybody see my screen? I see it. Okay. This function was actually asked for many years ago by an icon in the automatic door industry. I don't know if any of you knew him. Uh, Chuck Shaw, who started his career in the door industry at BEA and then went to Stanley. And he wanted us to give him a function. He had applications where a customer would want to put the door and hold open. The weather's nice, or I'm going to bring a lot of material in, something of that nature. But it had an electric strike on it. And if they put it in hold open, it might burn the strike up because it was intermittent duty, not continuous duty rated. So he wanted to be able to fire a sequence to release the lock, open the door, but allow the lock to drop off if I had a maintained input. So let's put a little toggle switch on that input. And the customer wants the door to go open and stay open, but the lock to drop out, they'd flip the switch and the door would run at sequence, the module would run at sequence and unlock and open the door, but then allow that relay to drop out that was controlling the strike. So if you look at the wiring on here, input one, or wet input, either one, would trigger the sequence. And you could do a single relay. You could do relays one and two. You can do relays one, two, and three, whatever you choose to use. The other inputs, in this case, input two, controls relay one. So if there's a jumper in there, it will allow relay one to drop out if it's a maintained input. Input three controls relay two in the same way, and input four controls relay three in the same way. For that application that he was asking about, we would wire our electric strike to relay number one. Common is positive. 
normally open would be the negative leg and we would move our jumpers from wet or I'm sorry, from dry up to wet. If we hold this input on input one, it's gonna fire relay one, which is your strike and release the strike. Relay two is gonna to wire to your door control and open your door control. And if you choose to wire something to input three, uh, maybe you have a second door that you also want to be helped to go open. Then when we hit that switch, lock unlocks, relay two triggers the door, relay three does something if you have it connected, but it allows the electric strike to drop out. Very, very good function for that type of application. I'm sure you could think of other ways to use it, but that was the main reason why we added this function to the BR3X. Um, thanks everyone for watching Tech Time Live. This is Jake and Steve showing function 36. Steve, is there anything else you wanted to end off in? Nope, w welcome. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you join us in the future ones. Have a great day, folks.